What's going on, Hyper Drivers? I'm back for another Star Wars sneaker unboxing video. And I know that I've done one just recently, like in the last six days, but I promise you, I don't do these all that often. And these are probably gonna be my last pair for a little bit. It's because it's getting a little bit out of hand. These were very expensive. As it sits, these are my most expensive Air Jordan ones I'm ever gonna have in my collection, coming in at $600. Damn! Woo, yeah, it, that one. That one hurt a little bit, but you know, he made a customized Air Jordan one to look like Boba Fett. I mean, come on, how, how do you pass up some Boba Fett sneakers? I, I've been wanting some for a long time. About the only other character that could probably get me like this is if they made him after Darth Vader. They made some Darth Vader sneakers out, out of Air Jordan ones. I'd be all over that. Especially if they were like black with like a red swoosh. Oh, hell yeah, be all over that. Uh, but you know, Boba Fett is also one of my favorite characters. So, you know, after I saw the last pair, the Red Fives, those looked badass. They were freaking cool. They did a, such an awesome job on those sneakers. These are not just like some sneakers that are, you know, Jordans that they paint on or, or some, you know, cheap alteration. They really go all out and, and make these sneakers look super cool. And I saw a comment on the video that I did for the Red Fives where somebody said that those sneakers were made out of the uh, Dunks but on the website it says that they're made out of the air jordan ones the red fives and these boba fett sneakers right here so can't wait to get these things out of the box let's do this so a few years back adidas came out with some boba fett sneakers and i wanted those pretty badly but they sold out like so fast and um you know after seeing these i'm kind of happy that i never got those is because just from the photos this looks so cool and i like jordans more than anything so Let's, uh, all right. All right, come on in and check this out. All right, you can see just like with the Red Fives, it comes in that same plastic box. These can be hung on the wall if you wanted to. So you can, you know, display them like this if you wanted to. I'm not gonna display it that way, but you have that option. I love the way this styling looks. So right here in Arabic said Star Wars. So that's cool. And it's written kind of in the same style as Star Wars and Bolaris, and then you got a Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, and then you got Boba Fett over there, and you got a Rebellion logo. That's cool. That's pretty dope. On the side right there, it says, put it this way, you got bullairs.com. That's where you want to go if you want to uh, pick up any sneakers like this, and they got all kinds of cool sneakers there. Some really neat stuff. And you got the sizing on the top. All right, you can see that it's got the Boba, the uh, Mandalorian, or I'm sorry, the Mythosaur skull crossed out because that's what this one is. It looks like he does have a Vader, but I think the Vaders are a low top sneaker and they may be the Dunks. So I'm, I'm always in, in for like high top Jordans is really what I like the most. Um, so if they ever do that, I'll probably buy that. <laughs> Can't wait to get these out. Come on. Now these are pretty tight. Oh, I'm already seeing it. <laughs> These are dope. Damn, these are cool. Check these things out. These are freaking sick. Look at this, man. This is so cool. The most impressive. Oh, they got a new sneaker smell. These are so freaking cool. All right. Come even closer. Let's take an even closer look at all the details of this sneaker, because this is sick. All right, so feast your eyes on these sneakers. We're gonna do the right one first, and then we're gonna work our way over to the left sneaker, because they are different from each other. All right, so you can see that both of these have, this is about the only thing that is the same with both, both of the sneakers. They got that styling just like Boba Fett's shoes. So it's got that same lines that it has in the movie. So that's cool, and I like that they added in some weathering. It's got the green from his armor, but then you got all this weathering like dings and dents like he has all in his armor. And I like how it carries over into the brown sections too. Look at that. There's texture here and everything. This feels good. And it's so cool. All right, on the right sneaker, you're gonna have the Wookiee hair. So you got Wookiee hairs hanging here. That's pretty cool. You got these pouches. All right, they don't open or anything, but maybe they do open. Oh, they do. So it's just some Velcro. So you pop open. That's cool. Okay. 
you got his logo right there. Check that out. And that's, that's embroidered in. You can feel it. That's neat. Ah, oh, this feels so good. There's bull is right there on the sole. Okay. And you got more of that coloring from his uh, suit. So you got the pouches and everything. So that's neat. I love that they went with the colorway. It's almost like the Empire Strikes Back colorway, it seems like. More, more so than Return of the Jedi. And you got this red in here, it looks good. And then on the opposite side is the swoosh. That feels nice. And look, it's, it's even got weathering in this area here too. So it looks like it's stained almost. That's so neat. There's your bottom. That's way so you can read it. So BA002, that's the model number. Bullseye. Bull errors. And you got the sole right here. Now I tried on the uh, Red 5s. They were really comfortable. Even more, even more comfortable than a normal Jordan, actually. Okay, let's see what's in the inside here. Does that come out? Oh, it does come out. All right, so the insole... Let's pull the insole out so you can see what the insole looks like. Oh, look at that. The insole has got Boba Fett in it, and it says Bull Air. Super dope. And then you got more Arabish right there. I think the Arabish says Air. All right, so here's your left sneaker. All right, so this side here, you can see it's got the kill stripes, and the kill stripes have all this texture in it. You can feel that. You can feel each one of the stripes. That's dope. Love the way this material feels. All right, you got more of the pouches and you can see it's got the stains all in there too. And more of the pouches, you got the Mythosar skull up here. I love this, this is so dope. <laughs> Very cool brown tie laces. All right, and then in the front of the tongue on both the sneakers, you can see it's got the visor. And it says Bull Airs right there. They, both of them have that same feature. It's the same. All right. You got, again, that same toe area. Looks just like the other. And then you got, again, more of that armor color with all of the dings and dents in it. All right. Coming around the other side, there's your red swoosh again. This is all on the inside of the foot. Inside of the, yeah, the inside. And then towards the back, you have that digital display that he has on his chest on the back side. That's sick. All right, and then you got the same sole. These things are fucking badass, man. So worth the money. The only problem is, is that at that cost, I can't see myself walking with these sneakers out on the streets. It's just, I'd be so worried that they got stained or somebody stepped on them or just, I don't know. At this point, it'd probably be something that I would only wear to like certain kinds of events, you know, that, that you know, I want to wear something, you know, different and cool. You know, I would rock these. But yeah, other than that, they're probably just going to be, you know, collectible. And that's about it. But anyway, what do you guys think about these in the comments below? I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can get the Bull Airs and you can check out all the other stuff they have on their site because they do have some really amazing other sneakers. And the guy keeps on coming out with even cooler designs to tempt me to spend my money. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think. And until next time, may the force be with you.